Good morning. It's Jay for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm going to do a nice, straightforward um, albacore fly. So I catch albacore on it, and you catch false albacore, maybe, depending on if they'll eat this color combination. You sure catch all kinds of tuna. Uh, I start with, a, I'm using SF Blend, Steve Ferrars. This is Bucktail White. A nice little short section. It's about twice the hook shank. I'm going to trim it. I'm going to trim it right here. Nice and short. Roll my hook up. I want just a little tiny base. Don't leave much space at the head of this fly. Put that on. Roll it. Just a little bit. Now I have section of white, section of bronze back. You put these together. The bronze back just a little bit longer. I normally lay this out on the table to combine them. Place that right there. Hold that pretty tight. First wrap is loose. Second wrap is nice and firm. Third and fourth are nice and firm. And now I want to just rotate. This part of the wing is nice and straight up, but, but the butts have twisted a little bit on me. So I want to straighten those out. Perfect. 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 Five sixteenths eyes. See, these will go on pretty nicely because I don't... The profile of this fly is kind of flat. It's got a vertical profile. It's not round. It's not oval. So I've got open space at the top, open space at the bottom. So we're basically done with this fly. This is an awesome fly. This fly will cast really nicely. Other times when I have put uh, UV cure around the back, uh, if I want to be super confident that it's not going to foul, but I have so little trouble with this fly fouling. This is material is just firm enough. It still flows in the water. Um, now, I can tie this with any color back you like. Um, it's a great fly. I urge you to give it a try. Uh, troll it, cast it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope your fishing season is very rewarding.